the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I adore Thee profoundly. I offer Thee the most precious body and blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world, in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences by which He is offended, and through the infinite merits of His most sacred heart, and of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I beg of Thee the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love Thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love Thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love Thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. Sancte Michael Archangeli, defende nos in prerio, contra nequitiam et insidias diaboli esto presidium, Imperatri Deus supicesta precamor, tu que princeps minitiae celestis, satanam reosque spiritus manignos, quet perditione manimarum pervagantur in mundo, divine virtute in inferno de trude. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. As we prepare to enter into these glorious mysteries on this third day of the Novena to Saint Philomena, I'll pray now the first half of the Novena Prayer. Hail, O Holy Saint Philomena, my dear patroness, as my advocate with thy divine spouse, intercede for me now and at the hour of my death. Saint Philomena, beloved daughter of Jesus and Mary, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Hail, O illustrious Saint Philomena, who so courageously shed thy blood for Christ. I bless the Lord for all the graces he has bestowed upon thee during thy life, and especially at thy death. I praise and glorify him for the honor and power with which he has crowned thee. And I beg thee to obtain for me from God the graces I ask through thy intercession. Amen. And on this Sunday, as usual, I'll be uh, sharing two of the graces that are available on through the sacred readings that our Lord gives us from sacred scripture today. But I also want to give thanks for the birthday of two good members of our Rosary Crusade, for Arya, if I'm pronouncing your name correctly, who just turned three today. And so a very young member of our Rosary Crusade, but may she rejoice in the love of Our Lady and Our Lord and grow to love them ever more as she begins this fourth year of her life. Then also for prayers for Larry, who turns 96 today. And so it's wonderful to be praying for a three-year-old and a 96-year-old, both celebrating their birthdays on this Sunday. And so let's ask for graces of the joy that only God can give, that he wants to give all of us some share of on this Sunday as we think of his resurrection and look forward to his triumph, or I should say, uh, us joining him in his triumph in heaven one day in the Father's house. Saint Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and all his minions, and protect us with thy mighty staff. Thou fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children, fathers, mothers, families, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while thou art near. So we beg of thee, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Joseph, the terror of demons, pray for us. Eternal Father, we offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home, 
and within my family. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Punctius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord from the dead, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, an increase of faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, an increase of hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Ghost upon the apostles and the Blessed Virgin Mary. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, zeal for the salvation of souls. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Our Lady into Heaven. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, true devotion to Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the crowning of Our Lady, Queen of Heaven and Earth. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, the grace of final perseverance. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. O Jesus, I choose to live this day for love of thee, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulce, Do et Spes Nostra Salve. Ad te clamamus, exules filii gave, Ad te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, In ac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo advocata nostra, Illos tuos misericordes oculos ad nos converte. Et Iesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, O dulcis virgo Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God, through the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, part His graces upon each one of your families. Benedictio Dei Omnipotentis, Patris et Filii Spiritus Sancti, Descendat Super Vos et Maniat Semper. Amen. Thank you very much for being part of this Our Lady of Fatima Rosary Crusade and part of this Novena to St. Philomena. If you can stay with me a few more minutes, I want to read for you 
the readings from Holy Scripture for this Sunday and then share with you two graces which I believe the Lord wants to offer us through the readings today. And in case you're joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to the Our Lady of Fatima Rosary Crusade. You are part of thousands of crusaders from all over the world, from uh, last time we checked, over 40 different countries, and you're able every hour of the day to be united with normally hundreds of people praying in that hour from throughout the world. And each Sunday, uh, normally on Sundays, I share with you the readings from the cycle that was used for so many centuries, the traditional cycle of readings from sacred scripture that's still used today in the traditional Latin Mass. From the first letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. Brethren, I recall to your minds the gospel that I preached to you, which also you received, wherein also you stand, through which also you are being saved, if you hold it fast as I preached it to you, unless you have believed to no purpose. For I delivered to you first of all what I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, and after that to the eleven. Then he was seen by more than 500 brethren at one time, many of whom are with us still, but some have fallen asleep. After that he was seen by James, then by the apostles. And last of all, as by one born out of due time, he was seen also by me. For I am the least of the apostles, and am not worthy to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace in me has not been fruitless. From the translation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. At that time, Jesus, departing from the district of Tyre, came by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee, through the midst of the district of Decapolis. And they brought to him one deaf and dumb, and entreated him to lay his hand upon him. And taking him aside from the crowd, he put his fingers into the man's ears, and spitting, he sighed, and said to him, Ephetha, that is, be opened. And his ears were at once opened, and the bond of his tongue was loosed, and he began to speak correctly. And he charged them to tell no one, but the more he charged them, so much the more did they continue to publish it. And so much the more did they wonder, saying, He has done all things well. He has made both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. And as usual, there are so many different graces which God offers on this Sunday. And so ask the Holy Ghost to call your attention to whatever part of the scriptures Maybe, he's, maybe there's a part he wants to highlight for you. But there are two aspects that I want to highlight for all of us. One is St. Paul reminds those he's writing to, the Corinthians, about the essential part of his gospel, which was the historical event of Jesus Christ rising from the dead, his passion and death and resurrection, but him rising from the dead. And he indicates some apparitions that we'll, we don't know much about, but we'll hopefully see in heaven, appearing to more than 500 believers at once, many of whom are still alive at the time, uh, appearing to St. Paul, we know about that, but appearing also to St. Peter and to St. James, each one of them privately. But it's good to remember that our faith and our evangelization is not based on me having a perfect set of ideas. It's rather based on what God did in raising his only beloved son from the dead. That great event in which over and over again throughout history he's performed miracles. We see the miracle already here in the gospel of the healing and that's happened over and over again throughout the centuries. We proclaim our faith, we believe in our faith, we should be willing to die for our faith because it's what God chose to do. The the, the folly 
of the cross that no one would have thought of was what God chose. And so as simple as that, to remember that our faith is based upon what happened. And so you don't have to feel, well, if I don't have a perfect explanation for everything, I can't evangelize or, or my faith myself isn't fully solid. No, it's based on the passion, death, and resurrection of our Lord and Him bearing witness in our hearts that He is risen from the dead. The Holy Ghost bearing witness in our hearts that our Lord is risen from the dead. And that solid faith that was the faith of the martyrs in the early centuries, even though they had often a very small uh, amount of, of knowledge, of book knowledge, you would say. And then the other part I want to call your attention to is our Lord's charging this, this deaf and dumb man. He comes with his friends who bring him in, and the Lord heals him. So now he's able to hear, he's able to speak. But the Lord commands them to tell no one. And they don't do that. They instead start, the, the more, he, he apparently said it multiple times, he says, no, don't tell anyone. But the more that he charged them not to tell anyone, the more they continue to publish it. And we can smile at that and think, oh, uh, our Lord was being humble, but they're really doing a good thing by publishing it. Well, surely not. If our Lord said not to do something, then that, that I'm sure that was, we know that was right. And that's a mistake that we can often make. We cannot be attentive enough to, to what God is asking us to do that might not, might be the opposite of what we would think is the most effective way to promote his interest. The people here are trying to do something good. They want to make known that Jesus Christ has performed this great miracle. He's the Messiah. People should come believe in him. They have very good intentions, but they're not willing to listen to his way of doing things. And that occurs uh, many times in, in daily life where we're tempted by we want to accomplish something good for God, whether it's, some, say, an apostolic mission. That's something I see all the time. We want to um, accomplish this great project, or we want to uh, win people over, or other well-intentioned things. And to do that, we can lose sight of how, in this present moment, with the person who's in front of me, what is God asking me to do for them? And if it turns out to be something that seems to me is going to shoot our project in the foot, or at least not be the best way of accomplishing it, I mean, here, if they would have remained silent, they'd say, well, how are these people going to know about him if we remain silent? It doesn't make sense to us. But if, it's, if we're convinced that's what God is asking us to do in, a, in a daily life, if it's what seems like the right thing in charity for the person in front of me, then that's what we should do. Or to take a different example, if we feel that uh, after prayer and discernment, I really think God's asking this of me. To take a um, maybe an extraordinary example, but St. Maximilian Kolbe, who was building this uh, huge monastery, clearly it was the work of God in uh, less than 10 years. It had gone from not existing to 900 brothers, was doing extremely good work in terms of evangelizing. He was the founder. He was the superior whose his presence even more essential when it's a young community that the founders really needed to, to keep that going and to foster it. And yet he felt in prayer, God was asking him to take off and go to Japan. And then he gets to Japan, and when he goes to Nagasaki to found his house there, he's offered uh, different possibilities of where he could found the Franciscan house. And he chooses a place that people think is not a good choice. It's not going to be easier for people to find. It's not the best place if they if they want to reach out to people because it's hidden visually behind this little hill. It's not a good location, but he chooses that. Well, the bomb some years later is dropped on Nagasaki, the atomic bomb, and because it's behind a hill, it was shielded from the blast and the Franciscans survived and were able to perform a great work of charity in the midst of the destruction of caring for the people who were there. So th that's an extraordinary example, but so also if in prayer, uh, not to do this foolishly, but if we really feel, whether in, in large things, that, that's a very big thing to leave his monastery and go some other place, but in small things also, if we feel 
really feel that this is what God's asking of me, even if I don't fully understand why, then we should, we should take that step of doing what He wants us to do and trusting that He knows better than we do. So I will stop there. I wish you all a very blessed Sunday, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the fourth day of the Novena of St. Philomena. God bless you.